Where is from Masarov? I know nothing about what you said. There's no reason why you two couldn't switch and be scrum masters of the other team. So your direct reports aren't in your own team. If they never do any work, they may have work. Like I know Shandana is on the SDP team and I have a feeling she probably looks at code, does code reviews, things like that, right? Yeah, so out of, out of uh, inside the room, I'm a scrum master. Mm -hmm. Out of the room, I'm actually working with my developer and saying, this is, let's redesign this, or re architect this, and code that's it differently. That's, that's, that's so, we are, uh, outside so the room, yeah. we are more of a team member, like Mike has, for example. He's supposed to be a tool of the architect. As long uh, as when you're playing your role, you're playing that role. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. the yeah. 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 It kind of seems like it would make a little bit of It's hard, but even when we were project no, no, no. managers before, yeah. there was a lot of fun. Sometimes a project manager was a functional manager. I used to call project managers when you're managing the project, but you have to directors. You know, you have to let them self-organize. So our team members were completely outside of the application, and they came in, development team members were from a different team. SQ was completely different. They had to learn and do everything. Yeah. Is the newly so they, formed team? Yeah, so they needed some direction from somebody. How do you keep right, the team members then? I'm sorry? No, the, 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 so we are all back to speed now. So. <laughs> but Dan hit it on the nail, right? The, the fact of the matter is when you are in that role, you got to play that role, Yeah. right? So the fact that you are the manager when you're a scrum master, don't act that way, right? Don't act as their manager. Yeah, Act as a scrum master. The point is, you, you can't force your staff to not treat you as their manager. You can That's try to be said, a scrum master. When they're looking at you, giving you updates, in a retrospective, you say, look guys, you, you should be looking at everybody, in, the team, not in, me. In, in theory, yes, but in practice, it would be pretty difficult for me to come to my boss and say, boss, I'm not going to be able to finish this story this week. And the next week, I'm not going to be able to finish this story again. And then it's, it's going to be. But you have to figure out, you know, is that a agile issue or is that yeah. a performance issue? Yeah. Because either way, you, right. everybody has a manager. So yeah. it's either that either you're going to go and tell them, or the scrum master is going to go. And exactly. Tell them. So yeah. someone's telling the functional manager if the person's obviously underperforming. Yeah. If they're if they're. Um, as a scrum master. Because they're not meeting the, the commitment. Report. If something's going on mm -hmm. from an agile perspective, we're not estimating correctly or anything else, that's a scrum master. You're saying it doesn't matter. Scrum masters, you would have that situation where... The scrum master has teams. a completely underperforming person, right, who's not doing their work, making commitments, not meeting their commitments. There's still going to be an escalation mm -hmm. to a functional manager somewhere along the way. You know, not to be using a stick, but to say, just saying, this person Only is not that meeting becomes commitments. An impediment, though, right? yeah. yeah, that the becomes an impediment that they have to resolve. It's okay, slowing yeah. down the iteration. Yeah. And a self-organizing But otherwise it has shown, yeah. 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 Well, it's self organizing me, it's and try to. Right. But what if someone doesn't do what they commit to? Right, exactly. That was my point. You have good team, so you know, that's not your issue, but other teams do have people just not doing their work. And whether you escalate or one of the team members escalate, that person will be escalated. Uh, preferably it's a team member escalating on. That's what does happen a lot of times. Everyone's walking in, meaning their commitment, and the daily scrum, and this person's not doing anything. So, um, you know, you can usually wait a couple of days until someone else comes to you and give the scrum mess, but eventually someone's going to come to you and say, oh, this is, this is we, had this, we had this happen just to give you an example. And the person's manager was also in the room, right? But SQA came in and said, every time this person has given me code, it doesn't pass any one of the quality requirements. He's always late, he's never complete. And so the person said, okay, let's watch it. They watched it over two, three iterations, same thing. Pattern didn't change. Even that person tried to help him, it never changed. So the person was removed from the team. So to your point, it doesn't have to be the manager himself. It, it was the uh, SQA. SQA. Yeah. So it just becomes so visible when this work cycle is so short. You know, if that person had worked for three months and delivered code, right. then it would be a big blow. As, an, as, as a scrum master, I could see, and the whole team could see, that what he was doing last week, and he was supposed to finish something, he was still doing it this week and the week after, and still there was no update. I'm still working on this. Yeah, if you see a task on the board, it's you see what I mean? So you, that's another good thing about the visual part, right? He wasn't moving anything. He was staying in, in progress. He wasn't adding any new tasks. So after a while, everybody knows, like the whole